We must learn to go back to the beginning to understand anything. Why did I have this child? If you don't understand why, you will abuse the privilege of a mother or a father. Today is Mother's Day. Not every woman is qualified to celebrate Mother's Day. Some people today, they, they, they need to look for Cain and flog them today. Today is that day that they really need to flog them. Yes. Train up a child in the way of the Lord. But when that child grows up, he or she will not depart. So if a mother has not fulfilled that ministry, they should flog the woman today. She doesn't deserve celebration. It might it sound harsh, right? But that is the truth. So God will not celebrate any mother today that has ruined the destiny of that child, that never introduced that child to God. What, do you think everyone is, is jobless? But it, it doesn't sound well in our ears. We are using human's mind to interpret what famous is saying. Because the first primary assignment of a mother, of a father, the first primary assignment is to raise this child in the way of the Lord. If you have failed in that, you have failed in everything. Take the child to Harvard University. Let the child come out with the best result. But the child, the lifestyle of that child has not glorified God. You have failed as a mother. Yes, everybody is celebrating mother. We also need to say the truth today. I can call my mother today and say, Mommy, I celebrate you because I am a living proof from the products you have raised. You have raised me in the way of the Lord. Today I'm impacting nations. I'm blessing lives because you raised me in this way. If she has raised me out to smoke, how to, I won't be here today. I remember one day, after trying to do nonsense, nothing will work. Somebody now told me, Revelation, that you don't bother yourself. Oh, no negative thing will work for you. He said, go and ask your mother what she did. Your mother has done something. And I was so angry. What? So my mother is the cause of my problem. And I got to her. Ah, she said, if it is bad thing you're doing, I'm sorry, it will not work. Oh. Now many, many, many years ago, I naked before the Lord. And I told her, if my sons put their hand in bad thing, may it never work. But if they put their hand in good things, may they prosper. I said, calm down now. You should have known that this. He said, I said it and I said it. Mothers that we make covenant with God to ensure that they protect their children. Not mothers that don't care. They make decisions without caring the repercussion. How it will affect the destiny of their children. They are selfish. It's about them. Every mother has a responsibility and we give accounts to God how you have raised that seed. Before you start calling everybody and say happy mothers, they check their life first. Hmm? So you, what you would do, the ones you know they fail in that place, what you do is not happy mother's day. You call, hello? Ah, they said today is mother's day. So I have called you to pray. That God will give you grace to fulfill your ministry here on earth. Ah, uh -uh. which ministry? To raise godly seed. That's what they did. That they, no, it's not gift. Do you give a person gift for fa for failing? In your school, do they give last person gift? He will never read again. Imagine the gift of of the person that carried last is bigger than the one that carried first. You will you want to carry first again? Imagine in your working place, the the those who who come with poor result, they, they earn more. Do you think the next generation will want to study well? Failure has become the... See, it's easy to convert people and go, bring, build the biggest company in the world and say the, the ones who fail earn more. I'm telling you, you have destroyed the system. All the children will start playing. They say, don't need... Why, why are we studying? There's a job or there's a company that hires failures. So God doesn't compliment... God doesn't reward failures. Rather, he gives them grace to do better. So don't give any mother that has not, that you cannot see the evidence of a godly seed around them. Don't give them gift. You say, sir, where is that I'm coming from? I'm telling you the mind of God. The gift they need 
you hold your hands and pray. Today is Mother's Day. Let's pray for that child. That child will come back to God. He said, let's go and eat. You don't need food today. No, today, today you fast and pray and say, God, today is Mother's Day. But what am I celebrating? When my seeds are out there living their life, they are not glorifying you. God, I weep today before you that you will visit my children, encounter them and turn them back to you. God will say you are a mother. Not like I don't care. It's their life. After all, they are more than 18. And you sit down, you are eating food and you are calling the entire world. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. It's sorrowful Mother's Day for you. Not Happy Mother's Day.